All right, all new patch. Very, very excited to see what Lakeburg has to offer. Uh, thin Mist has replaced the mist produced by mist sensors. I want to see how they work. So we are going to start on Apocalypse 3 and we're going to Lakeburg because it's totally redesigned, new and exciting. So without further ado, let's see what our new cast of characters is. Very, very amped. So, this is the new Lakeburg. So we have we have a lake up here. Okay, the lake is more lake-like than I expected it to be. Uh, I was I was a little worried. The new mist sensors start out at 150 HP, which feels a lot more manageable than it previously did. I am struggling to fully see the confines of our base here. I, I think all of this is technically going to be panic zone. Um, maybe not. Maybe this is the panic border right here. But uh, yeah, we have a much different town square than we previously had. We have kind of four roads meeting in the middle here. And lots of lots of the train tracks that are uh, are previously familiar. So one thing that I think is interesting is... Yeah, Lakeburg looks a lot more lakey, uh, Aquaman. One thing that I'm surprised by, though, is the number of mist sensors. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine on night one, and I believe one of the changes from the patch is that there will be more uh, on subsequent nights. Let's uh, let's get to know our cast of characters and kind of move on. So there have been a lot of changes. Uh, as I mentioned before, in fact, I should probably have it up. Let me... Uh, I did do a patch notes reaction video that is uh, that is currently live, not to uh, not to send people away from here, but uh, if you are familiar, that just went live, or if you're curious, that just went live on my channel. But let's get to let's get to know who we're dealing with here. We have Pancratius, who is rocking a pretty middling crossbow. Oh, that actually reminds me. Oh, we can't check the Oracalcum quite yet. I'm curious if there will be things to unlock there for the first time in a while. But we have a crossbow wielder who is a traitor, frail with demonic blood. The crit from demonic blood is, is nothing to sneeze at. So I think we overall like that. We like that we have the assassin tree here. And then poison I don't think is going to be too impactful. Uh, we have some armored boots. Those are not terrible. Might move those around though. Uh, second, we have Danica. Uh, who is a fortune teller. So increased magic damage and crit, very nice. Mystic for a big chunk of daily mana regen, and then less bag slots for more movement points. Danica seems very strong. Has some heavy armor. We'll probably leave that here. A little bit of opportunism on the pants is nothing to sneeze at either. And then extra AP is pretty good. Yeah, Danica rolled pretty high, Aquaman, for sure. And then we have Assassination and Defense. This is uh, probably my favorite pairing, if I had to say. And then we have a one-handed sword on Dan. Dan the man has a slightly smaller HP pool with some extra HP regen. Uh, corrupt and a genius. Okay, so would not call this the, uh, the high roll, uh, but... But not bad. Uh, we did end up with a second heavy armor, which if, if you know from previous, uh, previous versions of this, I don't like the heavy armor. I think the plus block is less impactful than the plus armor in the early game. And I think I am also going to give Dan the man this right here. And I'm going to leave the accuracy off. I don't, I don't need accuracy in my life. Wait, how did Dan still end up with this? I clearly swapped incorrectly. Yeah, I did. Dan, I want to have the ability to generate more ablative armor. Although less important now because the mist sensors are very different. Uh, and what is Dan rocking? Dan's rocking assassination and poison. We could, oh wait, no, excuse me, that was that was not Dan. Dan is rocking stunning and assassination. And we have harvester here, mana growth here, mana growth here. 
So only one harvester is a little bit, uh, a little bit unfortunate, but we have a pretty cool castle here. Oh, these gates open. Cool. Love that. That's a nice little, that's a nice little detail there. Uh, but I think without further ado, we got very lucky with, with sensor placement here. So I think we can just kind of do something like this probably and, uh, and get right on into it. Let's see if, uh, if the, uh, the historical proves still true. Okay. Let's see. I want to get... I want to run away. I don't really want to lose a movement point here. So I'm going to move to here and do that and call that good enough. Now, Propagates go under mist now, which is incredible. Uh... I think we will call that good enough, and let's see what we can pick off with our uh, heavy crossbow person. All right, the poison may have been uh, unnecessary, but that's okay. And then once again, the uh, the staff has a hard time. Okay. Can we get a shot around that easily? No, no line of sight. Uh, all right, so let's see. Don't mind. Don't mind if I do. Let's uh, let's get you out here. Hmm. Don't necessarily... Eh, we can do that instead. We'll probably have to do a little bit of defending on Dan, uh, I reckon. Okay, good enough. I think we're going to be leaving some actions on the table, so I don't mind doing a bit of this. You, you, you. This group of four, I think, could use a little bit of, uh, a little bit of bees. Looks like, looks good enough to me. And then you just armor up and you should be fine. Why didn't this flyer attack? Hmm. Seems like a seems like an error. Poison shenanigans are fun for sure. Uh drowning. How how are the unlocks going for you? So let's see, if I do this, I can't. Hmm. Oh, do we have plus one range on Dan? We do. Where's that coming from? All right, plus one skill range from gear. I don't see a piece of gear that's adding skill range. Oh, it's the Mithril Sword. What a, what a lovely boon that is. Uh... The, the unlocks are definitely slow. Um, ooh. You hate to you hate to see those misses. Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely tough. The the meta unlock system just feels very uh, very punishing for for new players. Didn't quite get that one. 
Oh, thank you for the follow. Oh, Long John? Much appreciated. Welcome to the stream. Okay, so I think that's about as good as we're going to get. This uh, this flyer is going to go over the wall, I think. No, it does not go over the wall. These walls are pretty, uh, pretty well fortified, it seems. And I think... I think it's better for business to clear out these front friends. The the move bug really does need to get resolved before the next uh before the next content update. It uh it still feels very frustrating to uh to not have move immediately available. I feel like it's going to be really hard to get this bat dead if it indeed can't fly over these walls. Um, <laughs> that's going to be that's going to be bad for business. We basically used up our mana, so I'm not excited to uh, to spend any more if I can at all avoid it. At least on this character. Um, Now, over here, though, we have just a staggering amount of mana. Let's, let's get the back end of this and see if we can... Yeah, that was pretty good. Okay. I, I love the fact that you start with three, as a side note, and... Uh, you, you start with three and you have this, uh, uh, this three wide as you're like holding the fort feels great. Um, let's see. So I'm going to move out. I'm going to, even though this guy's already dead, I'm just going to take him out so that we can get the, uh, get the proc on that. Might have made a bit of a blunder with going quite that deep. So I'll spend a little bit of mana to uh, to try to sort it out. And we're still we're still sitting pretty with mana over on this side, so. We got these two guys, but they're not doing they're not doing much. We'll get the we'll get the bat next time, which is fine. Oh, and the fact that there's no value in killing the mist sensors is uh is truly a thing of beauty. Uh, for for those who have not caught up on the patch notes quite yet, the uh, the reason that the mist sensors aren't worth killing is that they come back at the killing them won't prevent that so uh mist flows from them uh being pretty volatile in their essence their configuration changes from day-to-day -day position and quantity so that means that tomorrow there's going to be different locations for the mist sensors and they will fully respawn so that's uh that that means that there's no value in doing what we had previously done so that felt great night one of lakeberg feels really nice And Dan. Dan with the 30% extra experience. Okay, we get our S rank. Now we're getting it from up north. So there's a lot more RNG in where the mist sensors end up. So night two, the mist sensors are still at 150. Feels pretty good. Let's see what our night reward is. So I think the night rewards have been buffed. And actually, let's let's check out our meta progression before we go too much further. Uh, we may have new stuff to buy. Haven't seen her in a while. Uh, yep, yeah, we have two. Oh. They're locked. 
Hmm. I know what these are. <laughs> but they're locked. <laughs> Doodle, I'm glad we're uh I'm glad we're in sync. Uh and it didn't say it didn't say how to unlock them, did it? All right, maybe we have to make some progress. But uh you and I were uh we we've, we've got our schedule down to a science. All right. So, I think I think our standard build order stands, which is double worker upgrade into uh tearing that sucker down. And then but now let's take a look. So, this is the new this is the new menu in the lower left-hand corner here. You have defenses, repair, uh repair buildings, repair the targeted building. Repair identical buildings, repair all defenses, repair walls. Oh, wow. Oh, and you can repair these walls that are pre-built. That's also a new change. Repair structures and repair barricades. Very interesting. So the gold mine has changed its, uh, its configuration. I want I want to have some money to play with here. So the first upgrade is 10 to 25 gold and the uses per production phase is the second upgrade. So I think I'm going to do one of those. Now in the shop, the weapons are supposed to be cheaper. Holy cow. Right off the bat with the with the action. Let's decide which night reward we're going to take first of all. It's it's the longbow almost without question. Let's uh now the shop has more items in it. That's another change that we have. Yes, it certainly does. That's a lot of items. And now there's filtering, right? So you can we can sort by descending rarity. We can also only show weapons. I do I do like this. I like this more than I expected necessarily to. Uh so picking up the longbow will be good. The Archmaster's wand. I don't know. I, I'm not a huge fan of either of these, and it does look like huh, probably just the Mithril Spear is going to be our purchase here. I don't think I can afford to spend all of our money on the two-hander, even though it's really nice. That would mean that we'd go without a second caster weapon. Well, we could sell stuff. Actually, you know, let's, let's do that, because we only have to sell one thing to uh to get there what's it gonna be nasal helms are basically trash what was i gonna buy with the 10 the book there we go so the book is not uh is not strong but it'll it'll get us to the point where we can at least use our actions and now we have sword two-handed sword kind of going here which i think is uh interesting and that was all of our money we did get this we did get the first production upgrade which i think is good so i think we're i think we're in good stead there and then i do think oh wait so we can't build on this ground? At least not defenses? That's very interesting. And then that leaves us with 117. I'm tempted to try doing to get the, the walls repaired. Sure. Let's let's try let's try spending some on wall repairs. I usually I usually don't do that. And then for night reward, we're gonna pick up the longbow, which is a, a good looking longbow. It's not a plus one, so that's a bit unfortunate. But let's do some level ups. Physical damage and or is there any chance we're doing like a health build with you? I don't see blood magic. I do see vampire. Uh, no blood magic means probably not. Let's give that a roll and a roll. And then now we see the second change, which is that the second reroll is now a two spot. Sure, I'll take the block. 
big accuracy is uh, is big. And then let's grab some damage. Harvester is a no-brainer, and first blood is real nice. I'm surprised we only got one level up on our other two uh, friendos. We'll take critical, and we will take... We're going to take the isolation, but I'm worried about our accuracy, uh, to be sure. Every two attacks from a hero that are dodged by at least one unit restore one action point. Maybe since we didn't pick up accuracy, uh, cherry picking is also good, but let's, let's try perseverance. I, I rarely ever take it. We're, we're rolling deep here. Uh, we'll take the accuracy and over here for our caster. Quick reload is interesting. Eh, reliability, I think, is better. Oh, yeah, we don't get the second one. Okay. So I think that, that looks like the night. Gosh, that feels... It feels good to, to be not worrying about the sensors in the same way.